Hi, so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at doing some observational drawing and we're going to be doing a bird drawing. Okay, now this fits in with the project that you're doing at the moment. Now, in, when we do this drawing, we're going to be looking at using some of the mark making um, techniques that we explored here and here in order to do this. But first of all, we need to understand the basics of, of observational drawing. So whenever I do something, I spend some time looking at what it is I'm going to draw. Now, ideally, you will always draw from a live object. So you would have whatever it is that you're drawing in front of you. Now, this isn't possible because this is a bird and obviously they'll move around and it's highly impractical in a classroom. So we're working from images. Now, before I actually start the drawing, I look at this image and I start to break it down into shapes. So if I do that, I'm looking at a kind of overly shape for the head. I'm looking at a triangle shape for the neck. I'm looking at another oval shape for the body and I'm looking at another oval shape for this tail. So with that in mind, I'm, I'm going to give myself a top and a bottom. Now the other thing to bear in mind is that however large or small the piece of paper is that you have been asked to draw on, it should be filled. So in this instance, you're going to be doing a drawing on a piece of A4 paper in your sketchbook. We want you to fill that from top to bottom and side to side as much as you can whilst keeping whatever it is that you're drawing in proportion and to scale. If we wanted you to do a smaller drawing, we would give you a smaller piece of paper. So it's really, really important to remember that. Okay, so I'm going to start off with putting an oval in for the head. And I'm going to place that oval here-ish. And at the moment, I'm kind of guessing. I can roughly see where things might go, but it is, it is guessing at this point. Now, I'm measuring all the time, so I'm looking at the top of the cockerel's head here, and then I'm looking at the top of this feather, and I'm looking at the gap between those two, and I'm kind of thinking that that's probably about right. But what I am expecting is for there to be mistakes in this. So I'm using very light pencil marks so that I'm able to rub them out if and when I make a mistake, which I will, okay? Now I've got that neck in, I think that might be slightly too long, so I'm just going to shorten that down. Then I'm going to put in an oval for its body. I'm going to fit that oval in around about there. And then I'm going to put in the oval for the tail just there. Okay, so I'm going to just sit back and look at that. I'm going to put this leg in here. Just make sure that that distance is okay as well. I think that proportion actually doesn't look too bad at all. Okay. So I'm going to use a slightly darker pencil now so that you can see these lines slightly more clearly. Now I wouldn't want you to use a darker pencil because as I've mentioned already it's harder to rub out but I think in this instance you, you actually need to see how I'm structuring this drawing. So we've got these, these um, four shapes. We have an oval for the head, a triangle for the neck, an oval for the kind of chest and breast area and then another oval for the tail. And from this point, we can now start to connect these different sections together in order to build our bird, so to speak. So I'm gonna bring this curve in from this triangle down the front of the breast of the bird. I'm gonna bring this head up. I'm gonna actually take this neck out to start with. And now what I'm going to do is start, start to use some of those mark making techniques. So we're going to keep this study um, using the same 
materials that we used when we did this page. So we're going to use a biro, we're going to use a pencil, which I've already got, we're going to use a fine line and we're going to use a dip pen. Okay, so I've got all of my, um, I've got all my materials out in front of me and now I've just realised I haven't put that second leg in, let's just put the suggestion of that in the back. Uh, so I've got my pencil, I've got my uh, graphite stick, um, fine liner, pencil um, and Indian ink. And I'm just going to spend a little bit of time looking at it and just going to give, sort of kind of work out how it is I want to start this. So I'm going to start in this area just here. Now I know that my graphite stick is quite soft, so I might just use this to start getting in some of those nice feathery um, type elements. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking back to that mark making page I did. Um, I know I did a couple of marks like this using my graphite stick here and here. So I can just start to pull some of those into this. And I can bring those up. Now it gets lighter in the middle, so I'm just going to have those coming up a bit lighter. And then I'm going to do a switch. I'm going to come in with my graphite lightly over the top and then I'm going to switch over to some Indian ink. So I can see some nice dark tones coming in around the top of the neck area here and I'd like to put some of those into my cockerel. And again I'm thinking about those mark making techniques that I used before. Some of those nice lines start adding some of those in. Now I don't want to go too heavy with this at the moment. I can see a nice bit of tone happening up here so I'm just going to increase those marks just there and maybe just around here as well. You can see a slightly darker area and just inside here as well. So just put some of those marks in. Not too heavy, nice and subtle.
that's the finished bird. Um, hopefully you can see how I've used a number of different mark making techniques. Um, and as I've said before, we're not going for accuracy, we're going for exploring uh, some of the marks that we used back here and understanding how these sorts of marks can be used to create a drawing.